Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's World YouTube channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day like your girl and if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it's surely coming to you all for sure. So you guys, uh, for those that are uh, newcomers and first timers to my YouTube channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Different. I am an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, entertain, and inspire all at once. And so again, if this is your first time, welcome. Definitely hit the subscribe button before you leave. And then for those that are uh, coming back, welcome back. Today is Thursday, so you know we have our pop culture reviews on Thursday. So uh, this Thursday is no different. It's going to be our Hocus Pocus 2 uh, movie review. It took over I mean, 30 years, you guys, for them to come out with the sequel. But I must say, it was well worth the wait. Um, I enjoyed it from beginning to the end. I loved everything about it, from uh, the choreography of the dance steps, um, the music, the selection they had. Um, I like the attire they had. Uh, what else? Uh, I even like how they paid homage uh, to the original uh, movie and um, some things that they had uh, included from the original. Um, there were some things I didn't like about it as well, but I understood why it, it had to be. Um, I don't want to rule it for some people because a lot of people haven't seen it yet. But for those that have, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> and so, uh, well, you know what? Before I, I, I get a little deeper into it, let me hit you guys with the, the official book trailer, or excuse me, the movie trailer. <laughs> you say my book trailer. But the uh, official movie trailer for Hocus Pocus 2, and then I'll come back on and tell you guys a little bit more what about I liked about Hocus Pocus 2 and um, in my hopes and prayers that Hocus Pocus 3 is coming. So here it is, check it out and when I come when you come back on we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in different 12, yeah? Here it is. I banish thee from Salem <gasps> forever. They were right to fear thee. Magic has a way of uniting. Happy 16th birthday, child. I have a gift for my favorite customers. Legend has it, it's on the 16th birthday that a witch gets her power. Ah! The, the book is alive. He woke up. <gasps> if we intend to live past sunrise, we have to steal their souls. Whoa, 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 wait. Can we talk about this? No. <laughs> we must fly. Revengeful maniac obsessed with getting revenge on Salem. So very bad for Salem. Where should get some salt? Why? So we taste better when they eat us? Right out. Six feet under. Stop! I am a good zombie. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that movie trailer just as much as I did. I know before the movie came out, I watched it like 15, 11 times, <laughs> and so um, it it premiered on Disney Plus. Uh, September 30th of this year and uh, I was one of the first ones to watch it and as a woman as a woman in my 30s I'm not ashamed to say I have Disney Plus strictly for my pleasure only to hell with the kids it's all about me <laughs> so um, 
I, I, I enjoyed, like I said, I enjoyed the movie from beginning to the end. I liked the opening. Uh, I would say, you know, hats off to the young uh, Winifred and the uh, other young Sarah and Mary. They all did an awesome job. Uh, little Mama understood the assignment to the T. She, she really, very really well uh, depicted Winifred Sanders um, as she was young and it gave us uh, more uh, information as to their background and where they came from and how they came to. Um, I even like how um, they paid uh, homage with the costume, how they matched uh, the girl Danny from the original. Her costume was the Mother Witch, and in the sequel, they had Mother Witch, and then her costume was a homage or no to uh, Danny's costume, and I thought that was clever. I also like how um, they tied in uh, the costume, like what the mom was wearing with the Madonna outfit with some of the uh, the cast, like the background cast that had the, uh, the she had on a, a Madonna costume, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, I noticed that uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, or uh, Sarah, ironically that was her name in the movie, um, her sleeves were now made of spider webs. I thought that was cool and unique as well. I, I didn't like how they, I, I would have expected, I should have known that they were going to have to cut out Thackeray Bing's part. I kind of liked the part about the black head in the original, but I understood that, you know, he, he eventually he died and he was able to cross over and move on. And so, of course, he wouldn't have been in the second one. But they did in some way keep him in effect with another black cat. They called him Cobweb, I believe. And so, um, I, th I think they did, uh, or who was it? Ann Fletcher was a director of this movie. And I think she did an amazing job in the way that, you know, it was laid out and how it was explained and all tied in, all made sense. That's what I liked about it. They were able to uh, make sense and, and connect with the past as well as stand on its own within this time in 2022. And so they brought a lot of the past effects and uh, mixed it in with a lot of the present and it was able to work. I, I like how they did that. I think my ultimate favorite part of the movie was uh, when they did the performance on stage. Um, <laughs> the, for those who, who are uh, fans of Hocus Pocus, the original, you know the, the pinnacle point of the movie is when they were doing the performance of um, Put a Spell on You. And so now with this one, they have one way or another. And I kid you not, I literally just put on the movie to watch that part. Um, as well as I like towards the end how um, they did uh, <laughs> like a, kind of a, a little mesh up for uh, uh, Elton John's The Bitch is Back. <laughs> they did The Witch is Back and so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and I, I thought the ladies did, uh, the entire cast did an amazing job. I, I give it a 5 out of 5 and if you guys haven't seen, seen it or got a chance to check it out, Definitely uh, check it out. It's available on Disney Plus. If you don't have Disney Plus, you know, mooch off somebody that does <laughs> and uh, watch it. It's definitely a great uh, tell for all people of all age, you know, adults and children. Um, definitely a great Halloween movie to uh, take a look at. So definitely uh, check it out. As well as you guys, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're talking about Hocus Pocus 2. Let me get me some cloud in. Uh, be sure to check out, you know, my uh, previous videos and vlogs of uh, other topics that I talk about. As well as, don't forget, you can go to my website and cop my book. What if a controversial paradigm shift? Where is it right here? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah. Go to my website and get my book. It's available now at differenceworld.net. Again, my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is a book written to encourage and inform thought provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So be advised that it is intended for a mature audience only, you guys. So if you can't take this type of heat, then don't bother coming to this kitchen at all. But if so, head on over to differenceworld.net and get your copy. Yeah? All right, as well as you guys, don't forget. Check me out on all my other social media handles, my Facebook, Twitter, my Instagram, as well as you can book me on my website for any type of motivation, speaking events, or grassroots conversations you'd like for me to be a part of. I am free of charge as of now, so be sure to check me out again at different12.net. Uh, and again, you guys, I, I truly appreciate all the love and support that you guys have given me and I'm getting um, like I said, for anybody else out there that's on their come up too or they come back, just keep striving, keep pushing, and keep grinding. And you will eventually 
get to your final destination of where you're trying to go. Don't let nobody stop you. No, no forces of evil that may come against you. Yes, you will have setbacks. Yes, you will fail. Yes, you will hear no more than you hear yes. But in the end, it will all be worth it if you just keep moving forward. And know that, you know, whatever it is that you're working up, working for, it'll be worth it. And when you look back on it, you, you see, you know, what type of person it turns you into. A bigger and better and stronger person. Like I said, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about a mental health check for those who may need it. Anybody that's going through any type of mental health anguish, being depression, suicidal thoughts, uh, bullying, anxiety, you know, relapse, recovery, you know, anorexia, believe me, it's a lot of, you know, things that they're tied to mental health anguish. Whatever the case may be for you, my friend, if you know anybody or you yourself has experienced these things and you need these mental health resources, please share it. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 <clears throat> or you can text or call 988 or if you would prefer to text, you can text 741-741 for those who would prefer to go online. You can go to mentalhealthishelp.us or you can go to incounseling.com for those that are outside of the U.S. It is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. And again, just remember that it is okay to not be okay, but never sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go do whatever it is that you have to do to free yourself from that mental bondage and take control over your ship. And remember, you are the captain of your ship. You're the one that determines where to navigate the water and where to go or when it's time to seek it. And you're the one that's in control, okay? And then, so with that being said, you guys, I'm going to close out with my last message as I always give it to you guys. For those who are feeling they're destined for greatness in life and know that they're destined for greatness in life, you got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and then it will surely come to you guys. Difference well, come and learn. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.